If sunny skies and summer weather send you lawn lovers scrambling for the sprinklers, not so fast. You're probably overwatering and wasting time, money, and water, a precious natural resource. We caught up with City Water Resources Specialist Russell Ackerman at the Garden Garden Demo Landscape adjacent to SMC. Here he explained that while many of our traditional watering habits involve fighting a losing battle with Mother Nature, outdoor water efficiency really trickles down to a matter of dollars and cents. Every time we waste water, we're costing ourselves and our state more money in the long run. So there's three easy things that you can do to water more effectively, and I'm going to show you that. Here. One of the easiest things you can do is reprogram your controller so that you have more cycle and soak features. Why do that? Because the soil can only take in so much water at one time. So you'll have less runoff and you'll have more penetration of water into the soil. There's another easy thing that you can do, and that's change out your nozzles. I'll show you how easy that is right now. Okay, so this is one of the nozzles that can easily be swapped out with what's called an MP rotator. And this is a rotary nozzle uh, device that will increase your efficiency by at least 20 percent. The standard spray nozzle sprays out in a fan mist sort of pattern. The NP rotator actually sprays out in spiral streams and because of that it's less affected by the wind. Take a flathead screwdriver, I pull up the nozzle stem here, unscrew the nozzle, take out the little screen we have in here, and then you take your MP rotator and you screw it into the stem. And that's it. It's that easy. And finally, one last easy thing that you can do is take your old spray heads and convert them to drip irrigation. You unscrew the cap, you pull out what are called the guts. And then you put in what's called a retro 1800 kit. And what it is, is a filter and a pressure regulator. So the first thing I do is I pop in my filter, and then I screw on my pressure regulator. And now I'm going to screw in the drip connector piece. And voila, I'm ready for drip tubing. And Ned, if you do these three easy things, you're going to go a long way to making your garden a whole lot more water efficient. And then don't forget, too, you're going to save yourself a lot of money in the long run. That's right. You're going to save money, you're going to save time, and you're going to save a whole lot of water. Well, that sounds good. Can't beat that. Russell, thanks for taking the time. Remember this summer, everyone, to be water wise. For Santa Monica Update, I'm Ned Rolsman.